A rootkit is a collection of malicious computer software designed to enable access to a computer that is not otherwise allowed. A rootkit contains malware that can steal data and take over a system for malicious purposes, all while remaining undetected. Typically, a hacker installs the rootkit after having obtained privileged access to the system. Obtaining this access is a result of a direct attack on the system, such as exploiting a known vulnerability or getting a valid password obtained by cracking or social engineering tactics like phishing. Once the rootkit is installed, it becomes possible to hide the intrusion as well as to maintain privileged access. A rootkit can hide a keylogger, capturing your keystrokes, and sending your confidential information to its master who controls it. It can also allow hackers to use your computer for illicit activities such as launching a denial of service attack against other computers or sending out spam. Rootkit detection is difficult because a rootkit may be able to subvert the software that is intended to find it. Rootkits could remain in place for a very long time because their role is to hide any trail of their existence. So finding rootkits is a challenge, especially if it loads kernel modules and compromises the kernel. By modifying kernel system calls, kernel rootkits can hide files, directories, processes, or network connections without modifying any system binaries. I want you to remember something very important. If the system was compromised by a rootkit and you find out about it by any means, you must reinstall the entire system. Never, but never trust a compromised machine, period. Now that you know how dangerous a rootkit can be, let's go ahead and see how we can scan for rootkits and malware on a Linux system. We'll take a look at two security tools, Rootkit Hunter and Check Rootkit. It's recommended to run these tools from a rescue disk, typically a live one, or optionally, they can use an alternate directory from which to run all their own commands. This way allows the Rootkit scanner to trust the commands upon which they depend a bit more. Rootkit Hunter or RK Hunter is a security monitoring tool for Linux which scans for rootkits and other possible vulnerabilities. It does so by searching for the default directories of rootkits, misconfigured permissions, hidden files, kernel modules containing suspicious strings, and comparing hashes of important files with known good ones. It is written in bash, so it's portable and can be run on any Linux-based systems. Let's install RK Hunter from the official Ubuntu repositories. apt install RK Hunter. It's installing it. After installing RK Hunter, and prior to running it for the first time, update the file properties database. One of the checks RK Hunter performs is to compare various current file properties of various commands against those it has previously stored. I'm running RK Hunter minus minus prop up D. This command causes RK Hunter to update its data file of stored values with the current values. Let's run a full system check. RK Hunter minus minus check. This command performs various checks on the local system. The result of each test will be displayed at the terminal and if anything suspicious is found, then a warning will be displayed. A log file of the tests and the results will be automatically created in slash var slash log. Let's take a look at the log file in another terminal. 
I'm splitting the terminal in two and I'm connecting to the VPS again. This is a new connection to the same server. So tail minus F slash var log RK hunter dot log. And we see there a lot of information, all the tasks it performs. I'm pressing enter to continue. I'm waiting for it to finish. And it's done. There's only one warning that says that SSH root access is allowed. If you want to print at console only the warnings, run it with the minus minus report warnings only option, like this. Note that it still updates the log file along with all the checks it makes. Out of the box, rootkit hunter will throw up some false warnings during the file properties checks. This is because a few of the core utilities have been replaced by different scripts. For example, on this Ubuntu VM, RK hunter reports this warning. I know this is a false positive since I've just installed the system from a trustworthy source. These warnings can be muted by whitelisting them in the rkhunter config file. Here I'm writing script whitelist and the path to the binary that generated the warning. Let's take a look at another tool called chk rootkit that locally checks for rootkits. I'm installing it, apt install chk rootkit. And to start a scan, simply run as root chk rootkit. It's performing lots of tasks displaying the results on the screen. Note that the warning doesn't necessarily mean that the system was compromised. It's just a red flag that needs to be further investigated. The first thing you should do is search on Google for check rootkit and the warning it has displayed. We can also run it in quiet mode by using the minus Q option and it will print out only the warnings if there are any. And it's recommended to frequently run a cron job that scans for rootkits. That's all about rootkits and rootkit scanners. Thank you.